Greetings, my brethren, and welcome yet again. I got asked the other day, Hey, Big Papa Tenno, should I do videos or should I stream on Twitch? Well, this is a very good question to me because I myself was forced to decide between the two. I obviously chose one over the other, but the answer isn't going to be as cut and dry for everyone else. I had to decide what was best for me going forward, and everyone else does as well. So if you are faced with this decision, I will go over the pros and cons of each, including monetization. This also can cover, you know, everything else outside of gaming as well. First of all, if you're wanting to do either of these for the sole purpose of making money, then do everyone, including yourself, a favor and just don't. I mean, you're eventually going to tire of it and people are not going to want to watch you because they're going to be able to see through you and they're going to be more interested in someone who actually is interested in doing what you're covering. All right, time availability. This is one of the primary reasons I couldn't do Twitch. You have to be live when your audience is active. I work a full-time career and sometimes longer, which could overlap the time I was supposed to start streaming. I needed a platform where time conflicts, you know, aren't as big of a problem. For creating videos, you just need time to actually do it. For streaming, however, you need to be available at the right time. And Twitch has been gaining a lot of momentum. If you've been eager to try it uh, and you can have the right time to do it, this may be an avenue you can explore. Remember that you have to be live when your audience is active. So if your audience, for per se, is in uh, Korea, then but you live in America, well, you need to adjust to them. If your schedule is chaotic and you can't be in line with your audience, then maybe YouTube is the better option. Preparation. So both take a degree of preparation, but one is vastly more than the other. With Twitch, you not only have to just show up, but you also have to be in the right frame of mind to be doing it. No one wants to see your bad day at work carried over onto your stream. You know, I sure as hell don't. I, you also have to plan out things like giveaways and what exactly you want to accomplish in your stream. I and mean, if all this seems too much, then you're certainly not going to like doing YouTube. I can imagine dialing that knob up to 11. For people in the know, editing is a grim word and rightfully so. All those nice videos that are showcasing something while it's being narrated at the right time, everything's at the right place, it, yeah, that takes up a lot of time. Even good vlogs or this video you're watching now, I mean, it takes time to edit. Edit it takes a lot of freaking time, much more so than just the shooting of the video. And that doesn't include stuff like uh, scripting, of course that shooting, the rendering, researching the right tags, etc, etc. Even large channels like PewDiePie, even though he uploads about every day, well, he's in the position where he can have people actually edit that for him. So he just shoots it and he has a team of people that can edit it. So those few minutes of his that you watch, someone else is spending much more time editing that. You want a tight video that is entertaining, and that can take a lot of work. If you like to prep and make your idea come to life, I mean, YouTube can be that right calling for you. Just be prepared to be doing everything yourself. If you fly by the seat of your pants and like to thrive in that environment, then... Twitch might be for you as well. All right, next up, audience engagement. I don't care what anyone else says. Both require engagement or your channel will die. The difference is that the engagement on Twitch is real time. If you're doing a game, you can play with some of them and have a grand time doing so. You can react to and answer their comments nearly instantaneously. This is a good thing and a bad thing as well, because the good is that your audience feels involved and be, you know, connected with you right then and there. 
the bad is when, and I say when and not if, <laughs> because when a troll comes along, uh, you know, and your reaction to them is live as well. So you need to be prepared for that. You need to make sure that your response is setting the best possible possible example of what you should be. Also, if comments are flying by and you miss someone's question, well, they may feel left out, even though you're not intending to, you know, make, you know, you're not intending to actually miss anyone, you are going to miss someone at some point. And they may go somewhere else when, when that happens. And that just does happen. You know, best have a friend or two, you know, to moderate the chat when things start getting busy. YouTube, in contrast, uh, the engagement is before and after the fact that you do your video. If you are social and friendly to people on the fly and can, you know, multitask, you know, all that, then, you know, Twitch is a good option for you. Consistency. And, oh, this is the hardest thing for most because... It is required on both platforms. With YouTube, you don't have to be uploading constantly, but you had better be working on something in your off time. You need to always be working on something on in the back end because that is actually what ends up taking the most time. With Twitch, you need to be set with a schedule that your audience is on and stick with it. You still have to be disciplined with YouTube, but I think where most people fail on Twitch is that the pressure of being live when you are not ready. I, it doesn't matter when you want to be ready because your audience is ready. You have to be ready even when you don't want to be ready. I've seen too many streamers making excuses like, uh, you know, saying they're sick a lot or, hell, even if they're honest and saying they just don't want to do it. How consistent you are is how well your audience trust you. It's just like a job and you need to treat it as such. If you, Your job would fire you if you just you know kept calling in all the time and your audience will fire you as well. They're going to go to someone else. And I don't think a lot of people realize this. You, you really need to treat this like a job. You actually need to treat both of these like a job. Uh, for streaming, it's not just your audience gain tool, but it's also your audience retention tool. And a lot of people have a hard time grasping that, is that you, for whatever you gained before, you need to retain them by consistently, you know, uh, streaming your content. And even with YouTube, uploading content, you know, to keep the people. And... It needs to be a job you love and commit to fully, and you need to treat it like a job you're getting paid for, because if ultimately you want to be doing that and want to make this, you know, full time, you need to treat it as a job you're getting paid for. I mean, you wouldn't watch Jimmy Fallon if he called in sick, right? Creative freedom, and this is probably the most lopsided of all the points. With streaming, you're going to be doing just that and, you know, maybe a game or two, you know, depending on how long you're going to be doing this. With YouTube, you need to do that to create an audience, but it's also like the film industry to where you can do really whatever you want. Commentary, vlog, documentary, comedy, short film, I mean, you name it, your imagination is the limit. If you want more, if you want more freedom, go the YouTube route. If you believe you can actually commit to doing one thing for a long time, well, you can do Twitch. Monetization. I know I said this shouldn't be your focus, but you need to understand how to achieve this once you decide to go full-time. I mean, we all have bills to pay. And if all goes well, you can actually make good for yourself on either platform. And Twitch is much easier to attain the status for monetization than it is for YouTube. And I mean, it's not even close. You can achieve affiliate really within a month. By contrast, there are folks on YouTube that have been doing this for years. I mean, years. And still aren't even close to making partner with them. I mean, my personal experience mirrored that. And it took exponentially more time and effort needed to achieve the right status with YouTube than it did on Twitch. 
So on Twitch, you need at least 500 total minutes broadcast in the last 30 days. You need seven unique broadcast in the last 30 days. An average of three concur concurrent viewers or more within the last 30 days. And at least 50 followers. Most people get that within that first month. So you start on Twitch within a month. You do good with yourself. Yeah, within a month, you got it. You're good. Now, if you decide to do videos, don't quit your day job. You are going to be in for not just an insane 1,000 subscribers, you know, compared to, you know, the 50 on Twitch, but also 4,000 uh, hours or 240,000 of uh, watch time minutes within the last year. And and it's not automatic after that. I mean, your channel then goes into review where a team from YouTube reviews your channel and to determine if what you are providing is worth making partner. My process took a well, relatively quick four and a half uh, weeks, but you know I was doing a little stuff before then. Others have been in the status for many months, uh, some nearly or over a year. So if you decide to do YouTube, you need to realize that realistically, you will not be getting anything from them for a very, very long time. All right, and now we have Archive. So this is another pretty lopsided affair. Yes, Twitch has a setting where your streams can be archived for a short period of time, but who really watches those? Not many, really. YouTube, in contrast, your archives are permanent. And you could be getting views and earning revenue <clears throat> from a video you did, like, even a year or two ago. I mean, this is important because your video may not peak until long after it's published. I mean, I myself actually had the same thing happen. With Twitch, your, your largest watch time is right then and there. With YouTube, your largest watch time can be dependent on when people search for it the most. And last but certainly not least is the rules of conduct. Twitch and YouTube both have different stances and rules for their conduct and how you should be conducting yourself. YouTube has been cracking down a lot harder lately with what is acceptable and what is not. Twitch is still, still kind of a wild west. So... It's easier to do it on Twitch because their rules are more relaxed now, but I would not expect that to stay the same. YouTube, in stark contrast, has made it uh, much more difficult. Like They don't like people uh, just making compilations of other people's videos because they want to see original content, which I agree with. I, everyone should be doing original content, but... Their rules have become a lot more strict, and people's channels have actually become demonetized for violating, you know, just those rules of, like, you know, uploading a video of something else and, you know, trying to gain money off of that. And YouTube saying, no, not anymore. So this is something everyone needs to keep in mind that... If you're wanting to do videos of like just making compilations of other videos, you're actually not going to be getting anywhere with YouTube anymore. You used to be able to, but not anymore. Uh, Twitch, their their rules are still you know very lax right now, but I'm pretty sure that's going to change within a year or two. I hope this helps answer some questions that a lot of people have been asking. It's not to say that doing one is you know better than the other it's just what is going to be better for you either way you are only going to find success in doing what you are actually passionate about you know take that take the time the due diligence to decide and don't just jump in not knowing what the hell to do if this was helpful for you like and subscribe if you want more helpful videos like this and comment below on some suggestions on how to help your uh, content creation and as always, thank you very much and take care.